Hey guys, welcome back to the Design School. It's day 15 of Fusion 360. It's been a wonderful journey of 15 days and thanks a lot. It was all possible just because of your support. So thank you so much guys for that. I hope you got some benefit out of this course. And most importantly, I learned a lot out of this 15 days. So with that, let's start with today's session. So it is going to be intense, but not that too much because you have already learned all the basics out of this course and today is going to be the most difficult part of this video series and we are going to make a suspension of a bike today finally so let's start with today's session so for today i have planned to make this suspension this red one that is on your right hand side because this has the same diameter of the spring whereas in this left hand side suspension you can see that there is varying diameter in this spring so it is somewhat difficult to design so that is why i'm going with this right hand side one it is going to be somewhat easier than compared to this one so let's start with this so all the dimensions are imaginary so i'm going to just assume some of the parameters of this suspension so we'll start with this base plate of the suspension so first i'm going to start with this portion so i'm going to call this as top plate and this is going to be the base plate of the suspension and this is going to be the piston rod and this is going to be vibration damper and as you know this is a spring and this is going to be suspension mount so let's start with the top plate and the base plate so that is what we are going to make first so for that let's me, let me go into the software and go here into sketch and select this top plane and now i'll make a circle of not 400 40 mm in diameter so as I told you all these parameters are I'm going to just assume so I, I have selected the so I have made a 40 mm diameter circle for the top plate now I'm going to select that and extrude it to this bottom side for about let's make it 80 So now this portion is ready now we have to make this part where the spring is going to lock and can't travel further so for that again I'll go into sketch select this top plane and make a circle this time I am going to make it off 60 hit enter finish the sketch now I am gonna select this sketch that we have made and I am going to extrude it this time just go here into extrude tab and go here and change the start profile from profile plane to offset so what this gonna do it is going to take this extrusion to this part take this extrusion to an offset so from where we want to start take this sketch to an offset so that we can extrude only to this portion so we'll select this offset as 60 and we'll make the extrusion as 20 20 is going to be too big we'll make it 10 and that's perfect now the operation has to be joined yeah right there so that is what we are looking for just hit ok oh that thing turned really cool It looks pretty much like this now. I will go back to the software. 
now we know that the piston has to go inside this so this thing has to be hollow so let's make it hollow select this portion go to sketch make a circle of 30 mm in diameter hit enter finish the sketch select that circle extrude it we'll make that as negative 60 would be perfect let's make the operation as cut and hit enter and like that we have nice nice little slender for our piston to go right in there now let's call this body one as we don't know what it is so we'll call that as top portion now we'll move this top portion to slightly left hand side and we'll just hide that out so that we get again the center of this to make our new sketch so we'll again go there we'll select the top plane so now we'll make the base portion of this so for that let me make a circle of 40 mm in diameter and now i'll extrude this for 40 and make the operation as new component and then i'm just going to hit ok so we have nice little cylinder there now we have to make a same latch like this for this as well the bottom portion so that the spring should stay in there and shouldn't move around so for that we'll do the same again i'll go here with the sketch select this I'll make a circle of 60 mm finish the sketch select that circle and extrude it downwards go here into start make it offset let's make the offset as 20 or negative 20 I would say and this will keep it as 10 yeah that looks a lot better so I have kept kept the offset as negative 30 and the extrusion is for 10 mm and let's make the operation as join and hit ok so now we want a piston on top of this so let's make its rod first I'm gonna make a circle of 10 mm in diameter and then I'll extrude it for 100 mm and this time I'm going to keep this operation as new component and hit ok now I'm, I'll select this top portion of the rod go here into sketch again select a circle and make a circle of 30 mm diameter then finish the sketch select both the circles and extrude it for say 20 mm and now this operation has to be joined hit ok now let's turn on this body 1 And we'll just try to assemble it, assemble it now to check whether it is working properly or not so for that we'll go here into move select this take this up like that bring this to this side 150 and bring it down Let's 
let me just turn off the grid okay so that thing works perfectly fine yeah just as I had expected it to be so that is how our suspension is going to work so inside that fluid is going to be there now hit escape again turn on the layout grid what else we have to make now Okay, so the top portion is ready, the base is ready, the piston and piston rod is ready. So we have to make this rubber sealing portion or the vibration dampener and this the suspension mount. So let's make that as well. First we'll move this part around along with this. So let's take it to right hand side. Now we'll make a vibration dampener. So as you can see this vibration dampener is somewhat in hemispherical shape and you know that how to make a hemisphere if you don't know go and watch the second video I guess. So in that I had told how to make basic 2D and 3D shapes. You can see there it is step by step explained how to make a hemisphere in that. So let's make that go here into sketch select this plane and I'm going to construct a circle of 35 mm go into line select this to this again select this to this now go into trim and trim out this excessive portion finish the sketch select this go into revolve select this blue line operation as new component and hit ok now again select this we know that there has to be a hole for piston rod to go inside we'll make that hole we know that piston rod is of 10 mm in diameter so let's make this as 10.5 hit enter select that extrude it operation has to be cut and hit ok So like that we have the vibration dampener ready now the only thing that is left in this design is this portion the suspension mounts and the spring so spring we are going to make it in the end let's make this mounts now first let me move this around turn off all the bodies and all the components go here into sketch select this top plane and I'll make a circle of 40 mm and then extrude it for 40 and operation has to be new component looks perfect I'll again go to sketch and select this plane I'll construct a line 
that has to be of construction type and let's make that as 20 right there and make a circle there no this time it ha it doesn't has to be construction let's make again a circle of 40 then we'll construct a line from there like this of 20 a vertical line of 20 then again horizontal of 40 and one more from there to join this 20 now we'll trim this portion this isn't required now finish the sketch revolve this around turn off this component select this and this portion or just select this sketch and extrude both of this turn on the component make this as symmetric the operation has to be cut and hit ok so there it is now this is our suspension mount let's drill a hole in this as you know there is a hole in that we'll make that hole now so for that again going to sketch select this make a construction line from this center 20 mm and again make a circle turn off the construction make it of 25 mm finish the sketch hide the component select that circle extrude it make it symmetric just pull that out operation has to be cut and hit ok so there it is now we want a rubber seal and this ring inside it so we'll make that as well so we'll make a rubber seal of one circle has to be 25 and another has to be 20 so the thickness of that rubber seal is 5 mm orbit it around select the sketch extrude it make it symmetric and let's make that as 20 now we'll make a ring inside that this time make it as 20 hit enter again make a circle of 18 that would be too small let's make it 16 that looks perfect orbit it around again select that and extrude it to 20 mm whereas the direction has to be symmetric operation has to be new component hit ok now select this and this will fillet that one looks perfect we'll do the same for other side as well like this and this make that as fillet of one looks pretty good now let's turn on all the components now we'll start assembling everything one by one so let me just turn off this grid we know that this this mount has to be on either side of the suspension so let's make a copy of this thing go here into move like this go here into create a copy and just drag it around like this and now you have a same copy of the mount then hit ok now we'll select this and we'll move that to 150 like that and top has to be 80 right there and now this one has to go below here so we'll select this portion 
will move this first we have to rotate it like this to negative 180 degrees then we have to drag this down to 30 I would say and then we'll move this to right hand side let's make this as 5 and the vertical as well as negative 5 that looks perfect it okay so there it is the mounts are ready now now we'll cha change the colors of this component so that these are easily distinguishable distinguishable i don't know what do you call it distinguish yeah that is what you got it okay so we'll make this rod or in general we'll make this component go here and go into appearance we know that it has to be made of some kind of metal so we'll make that of iron iron where it is yeah there it is iron we'll make it of polished iron so just drag it like this and throw it on top of that scroll down go here into polished iron edit this thing and we will use the same color it is somewhat golden brown so i'll edit this where is brown man yeah that looks good right just hit done then we'll make this as silver so we'll go to component so we'll go here in top portion again go into appearance let's make it polished iron and change its color to somewhat silver like this so there it is now we know that this is a rubber so go here into component and go here into appearance now scroll down you will find plastic wood then where is rubber fabric glass leather cloth so your rubber option is not there i don't know how come so we'll make this of plastic and we'll make that as complete black it done and close it now this portion is somewhat different in color so we'll change that as well we'll go here into this component and we'll edit this and hit done now let's assemble this parts first i'll mount this rubber on top of this cylinder so like this portion go here into move move it like this right there and hit ok that looks cool now we'll mount this onto this just go here select all this portion move that just like that and move this thing around to say negative 130 and hit ok wow that thing turned really cool man let's change the appearance on this as well now the suspension is almost ready we just have to make the spring now so for that go here into create tab drop it down and select this coil so we want the spring to start from this position from right there and we want the diameter of the spring to be 55 let's hit enter so there it is our spring has started to form so we have to do some changes here so first we'll go here into diameter so diameter has to be 55 
will change the section size to say 10 that looks cool we'll make the height as we have to keep adjusting the height till it touches the top portion of the suspension 200 is going way to above let's try 180 how about 160 yeah that looks cool it almost almost touches right there now we'll change the rotations or the revolutions i would say so we don't want it to be just three let's make it 10 oh that's too many revolutions look how it is looking <laughs> in single revolution okay let's make it five oh it looks cool but seven looks perfect i would say the operation has to be new component yeah that thing is looking really cool man and just hit ok now select this component 6 go into appearance go into metal we'll make this of polished iron drag and drop edit this thing and we want it to be bright red but because that thing looks really cool just like that now hit done and close this thing wow man that suspension really turned out really cool it is looking really cool so i hope you like this and you might have enjoyed doing this so there it is finally our suspension is completely ready and it looks really cool it was really fun making all these 15 videos i learned a lot as i had told you before and please let me know if you want me to make another series of videos like this where i'll be teaching you how you can go from intermediate to professional in this thing as always thank you so much for being till the end of this video and we'll see you next time yeah i know brain marvin divine and we back can't nobody tell me nothing Made it through the rain, the rain I turn nothing into something No more dealing with the assumptions Cause I do what I gotta do And I know, oh, oh, oh Can't nobody do it like me All they do is judge me for who I might be Maybe if they took some time to pick my mind They see that I'm cooler than lemons and nice tea uh. yeah. All I wanna do is live it up with the homies Everybody really talking as if they know me But I guess I gotta face it I'm so tired of being faceless down in my head, I'm losing the mind uh -huh. And if you could know, yeah, if I could show